Lijntje door het raampje. Eens goed zien. Goed genoeg. Zo. It's coming. It's coming out. Out of his little house. <laughs> ja, mannetje huilt, mannetje lacht, hè? Nou, ja. die is ook wel een. Uh, maar. Kijk, dus hij stond uh, zo. En toen hebben we hier met een val daardoor het raampje met de lier. En dan hierop deze omhoog geleerd. Met deze stellage. Op deze kant. Oh, als ik in de weg sta, moet ik ja. zeggen. En daar een oogje gemaakt. Ja, en zo gedraaid dat hij nu op de plank staat. En dan moet hij deze kant op komen. Zo, dan gaat, daar staat de generator. Dan gaat de Bora gaat eraan draaien. Een klein beetje. Dan zie je, dan komt hij al heel langzaam deze kant op. Stop maar even, voordat hij erop afflikkert. Ja. Zie <laughs> je, dan wordt ze enthousiast hè? Dan gaat ze in één keer door. Ja, ja man. Ja. Ja, gaat goed. Stop maar. Ik moet die blok even anders zetten. So a few weeks ago we took the generator out of the boat and brought it into the workshop over here. Um, in the meantime we have uh, disassembled uh, the engine and have located uh, where the issue is. The issue has been uh, water on the pistons and, uh, and that has uh, caused severe corrosion. Um, and that is, uh, I'm going to show you shortly why there is a construction error. Um, here I have a short uh, script of the installation manual. Um, basically we have uh, uh, this installation, uh, except for our generator is um, also a bit more above uh, the waterline. Um, and what the uh, manual dictates is that when you exit the uh, exhaust manifold, so this is the exhaust manifold, um, and here's a hose, it should go down directly, down, 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 down into a wet muffler over here. Um, should be at least 30 centimeters drop straight from the engine. And in our installation, uh, uh, the hose came out and then it went up about 20 centimeters. So you could see then that there is always some, some water being trapped in, in this, uh, in this area over here. And that is not uh, a good thing. Um, when we bought the boat, we've been instructed to let the uh, engine run with the raw water inlet closed so that all the water could drain. Uh, from the engine before stopping it. While we consistently did that, uh, there still has been a, a trap of water in this uh, uh, elbow here, probably. And when you go sailing, uh, especially when you go on this deck, then the water will just drip back and it will go into the engine, um, standing on the, on the pistons. Uh, that's not a good thing, so we need to change that. Um, and if you can, uh, and this is a, uh, a this is the piston from the first uh, cylinder, and as you can see, it's heavily corroded, and the rings are uh, yeah actually glued and stuck to it. Um, the other ones are less uh, hurt, uh, but we've decided to replace all three, 
cylinder, all, all three pistons. And um, a new one looks like this. <laughs> uh, the rings are not in here yet. Uh, we will put them in uh, later on. These will also be uh, replaced. So they should be floating uh, just around like yep. this. And here's a, a valve. Uh, this is an intake valve. And you can see these have, are corroded as well, quite bad. Uh, you can see all the, the pots on it, also on the bottom side. And uh, yeah, it's all gone actually. So we have decided to replace those as well. And so here's a new one, still in the, in the package. And these are all uh, shiny and uh, smooth. Yeah. And these will go in uh, later on. Um, so here's the uh, the generator. It's on its side right now. Uh, it's easy for uh, disassembling. Um, and also uh, I, I turned it around so I could do some honing on the cylinder walls. Um, as you can see, there are, there's a, a light groove on the cylinder uh, wall. And that keeps the oil on the sides a bit. And uh, when because the engine has been running at low loads a lot of times, um, the, the cylinder walls tend to glaze, so they become perfectly smooth. And you want some oil to be sticking on the cylinder wall. So what you do is you have this hone, honing device. Uh, you dip it in oil, put it on a drill, and then you put it in. And then you rotate it and pull it out and in, out and in. So that you get this, this wavy pattern, like this. Yeah. On the uh, on the cylinder walls. Um, here, this is where the uh, uh, raw water pump is uh, located normally, and I've taken that one off because that was leaking. So it's not essential for the uh, generator repair. So it's not the reason why it didn't work anymore. It was leaking a little bit of oil, and now uh, I had to buy uh, four new rings. And as you can see, it's uh, genuine parts. So uh, you can guess how much money this is. The reference, the whole unit itself costs a uh, completely new 380 euros. Uh, 20 euros? Yes, 100 euros. Did one ring? No, these, these four rings together. This is 40. Uh, okay. So these four things is 100 euros. This is 100 euros. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Happy boat launch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the head of the uh, of the engine that was uh, severely corroded. Um, so we had to take it into a specialist who uh, surfaced it, cleaned it out thoroughly. And you can still see a few stains of the corrosion that was on it. Uh, this was the most heavy corroded. Um, he replaced the intake seals. Mm. Um, and he cleaned the whole shit out. Yeah, I cleaned looks, it a bit. It looks really nice. But now. it looks uh, shiny and new. Yeah. So uh, that's good. Um, but there was a lot of labor involved in uh, machining the new uh, seats. And that was also like 900 euros? Yes. To, to get that fixed? Labor intensive. And we bought it's expensive. It, we brought it to uh, Buda. Yeah, we brought it to Buda. And then this guy, the specialist, with a nice workshop and all specialized tools could uh, re redo the, the head for us. So that's really nice. Um, then the springs go back on and the valve stems come out here. We have to push this down. This is a new head gasket. So that goes on, on top of the engine. Over here. Oh yeah. And then this one goes on top. So we replace the, uh, uh, the pistons and uh, the piston rings for all three cylinders. May not have been necessary for all three, but uh, we wanted to replace the rings anyways. And the price difference for a whole new set was not so big, it was like 50 euros difference. So better to replace everything. And so that they're all uh, running balance and there's no weight difference between the, the pistons. Mm -hmm. We replace uh, the bearings that go in here and that go around the crankshaft uh, for turning uh, uh, the pistons. Mm. I took out the uh, uh, instrument panel from the boat, um, rewired it here so we can uh, also run the engine outside the boat 
before uh, putting it back in. Final note to this uh, movie. Yeah, it's really cold in here. I've, it's minus uh, five or something outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my hands are freezing a bit. We could put, turn on the heater, but it makes a lot of noise. Oh, there's one thing I want, want to show you before we uh, depart. And that is uh, this. This is the oil sump. So that goes uh, on the bottom, of course, of the, uh, uh, of the engine. And uh, a new gasket, 30 euros, like this. But then we went to our favorite shop in Norway, Biltema. And we bought this uh, sheet of uh, gasket material for uh, seven euros. And then I gave this whole thing to uh, Deborah and I said, you go make gasket please. And then uh, she <laughs> made this out of it. Really cool with all the holes drilled in it, uh, cut to size. So we will uh, use this. And then uh, we still have some material left that we can use for other gaskets if required. Uh, <laughs> something wrong here it has to suck air there or there is this tightened Today we are putting back the generator in the boat and um, this morning we built the ramp back in where we can slide it on and uh, we went to Johnny, we picked up the generator and he helped us uh, bringing it to the boat. So uh, yeah, now we have it uh, already standing here and yeah we just uh, need to put it in it's a very beautiful day it's like a bit freezing i think minus two or something it's really sunny clear sky nice snow everywhere on the mountains and much better when we took the generator out because then it was like snow storming and really cold so this is a nice day to be also outside Een centimeter laten zakken. Oh maar hoor, dat is wel meer dan genoeg. Oké, okay, ik moet er even onder kruipen. 
Oké, okay, kun je hem eens in twee laten zakken? Ik wil weten waar je nou bent. Onder het bed. Eerst kwam hij daar daar uit. We hebben nu een plaatje voor gemaakt en uh, nu komt hij daar. Dus een stuk lager dan dat hij was. <laughs> 